Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with something very crafty that does not involve fabric or sewing. I'm so excited. I am going to show you how to make paper tubes out of magazine pages. Now I have actually done this before on my old craft channel and I looked quickly and apparently I did it with um, newspapers or the store, grocery store, flyers and it's longer strips, it made longer tubes, it's a different feel to that paper, so I'm glad that tonight I decided to do magazine pages. Um, so it's a little bit different than that video. I will link to that video down below. And I just kind of like skipped through it, <laughs> and at the end I said that I was planning on covering a box like this, and it's funny because I had this box in mind this time. Now I don't think I ever did it before, you know, for that last video, I don't remember ever following up. These are boxes, you know, that I used to buy all the time for my mother, candy bars. She's not so much into that much candy now, so I kind of buy her the little bags, the bags of the little mini candy bars. Um, she likes that better. So I have still a bunch of these boxes. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make the tubes, and if I can whip up enough of them, I'll try covering this. We'll see if I accomplish that this time. Cool beans, and I do have a finished project that I made way back when that I will show you at the end of this video. So take some magazine pages. They don't have to be colorful. What I do is I take the cover of the magazine off so it's easy to just rip all those pages out and they're kind of held together. They don't have to be colorful because you can paint these tubes, but if you want the tubes colorful, then you can pick out colorful pages and do that. Okay, where's my rotary cutter? So mine are five, six, seven, eight, about eight inches, but I'm going to cut my strips about three and a half. So I'm just going to make a cut like this, and then I'm going over a three and a half more. And if you wanted, you could take this paper, cut some triangles out of that, and you have some paper for paper beads. And we're just going to put this aside. Ooh, let's do this pretty green. Very easy. All you need is um, a skewer. I think skewers work the best because they're nice and, you know, thin. They don't make a, um, a tube with a gigantic hole, so they're more sturdy. And you need something kind of long, so perfect thing. You can get a bag of these. I don't know. I'll see if I can find a bag of wooden skewers on walmart.com, and I'll link down below to that. Now, you want the colorful side or the side that you choose down. Now, if you plan on painting and you want to paint something white, well, try to pick pages that are mostly white or just with the writing. You wouldn't want a big, you know, black page. Um, all right, whatever. Do whatever you want. Got interrupted. Starting up again. Okay, so you want the color that you want the tube to be down. Now, take this point. Now, let's, you know, I'm using my mat. You don't have to have a mat, but let's pretend you have a mat. Put that point on a line this way, pointing toward you, like that. Put your skewer this way right across horizontal and you're going to let's see I'll get some glue ready here you can use white glue or you can use a glue stick doesn't matter at all for some reason I like to use white glue for these projects um, you're going to just pick up this little corner here and roll don't roll so tight that you can't get your skewer out after I've actually done that and after just a few rolls, I put just a little bit of glue, just a little bit. You can spread it around if you want. And you're just going to keep rolling. Now at this point, I'm going to push my skewer so that the long end is here so we can have enough skewer for the rest of this paper. Just keep rolling. And at some point, if you want, you can actually pick it up and hold here and roll that way if that's easier for you. I like it right on my mat. Now I'm just going to put, I actually am supposed to be using the other side of my mat, I'm just putting a little bit of glue right there on that corner and we're just going to roll right up to there like that. Look at that. Look at that. Take your skewer out 
And we have a nice paper tube. And like I said, it you know, it's it's a good one. It's a sturdy one because we used like three and a half inches of paper. You could actually use like a two inch strip of paper and do the same thing, but it's not quite as sturdy. Let's make another one. This is so addictive. I'm telling you, everything I do is addictive, I think. Oh, here's one with pink. Okay, so I want the pink side down. I'm pointing to me, and my skewer is going to go this way, and I'm going to just catch that little corner. Sometimes that little bugger doesn't want to tuck under, but you can force it. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that pretzel. <laughs> I'm pushing my skewer that way. And I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. And there's another pretzel up here. And I'm going to put some glue there. And just get that corner all gluey. And my cutting mat. <laughs> and we are done. <gasps> And you can tuck your little uh, corner. Look at that. See? Now my little corner needs a little dab of glue right there. And really, that's all the glue you need. You don't need to be gluing through the whole tube. I have no clue what I did in the other video. I might have done something totally different. And you just make a bunch of these awesome tubes. And then, like I said... I might not cover this, but I will find something to cover, and I will come back with another video to show you, but I need to make some tubes, and I don't want to do that all in this video, but you can just hot glue the tubes onto whatever you want, and you can Mod Podge them, or you can paint them. Now, I am going to show you something. Hang on. <laughs> this is an oatmeal container that I covered with a bunch of tubes. This was my container to hold paper tubes in. Now you can see these are much longer. Those were made with um, the newspaper. I believe I made these in that other video, which is several years ago. So you can see I never went too much further with it. And, um, you know, they're cool. I think these have been painted a little bit. I don't know if maybe Skylar did that or if I did that. Oh, look at these. These are cool. They're striped. Whatever paper I used made that happen. So um, this is just Mod Podged. I don't know if you can see. There's a nice sheen. This is like plastic. I mean, it's very, very nice and sturdy. And I just, I'm sure I just um, hot glued those on. But you can use just, you know, regular glue. And I had a, a lot of fun doing that. I'm going to make some more tubes. And I will be covering something in a future video. So subscribe. You won't miss that. Oh, you can see. You can see fabric over there. Those things. Those piles. I'm making five-inch squares that will be coming out. And I'm making... Um, it's going to be sets of 120, and you will be able to put all the 5-inch squares together to make a quilt top. I can't remember the size, but I have it so that you will be using all 120 squares if you happen to buy one of those. And I'm making 24 sets, and that's a lot, a lot of cutting. I've been working on it for several days. I have 12 different prints. And um, so anyway, that's what I'm working on. This is some stuff over here for you know, various sales coming up. I have bolts of fabric. I just cut a whole bunch of this one. And, uh, oh yeah, for that project. So, whatever. I'm always busy and loving it. All right, you guys. So I have these paper tubes. I'm going to sit here and make a bunch more. And I'll see you soon with a project using these. I might paint them this time. So I'm not going to be so fussy but see I love the colors so much look I have the pink and green so I don't know I don't know maybe I'll have to uh, use these as is and then maybe I can uh, just use some crappy white pages and do another project and we'll paint it because I've never painted the paper tubes yet and I think I would like the looks of that thank you so much for watching I'll be back with more soon bye